Hello everyone, my name is the Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the second episode of The Rise of Tamerlane 2, a custom campaign created by Philly Sol not Philly Soldier, by Bassy AOC, my bad. Um, in order to get access to this campaign, all you gotta do is open up the game, click the cog in the top right, click the mods button, then in the mod browser search for The Rise of Tamerlane 2. Now, if it isn't already abundantly clear, you should also check out Rise of Tamerlane 1, created by the same author, and uh, check out my playthroughs of those as well, though those were done a long while ago. In any case, the Tamerlane storyline is a bunch of high quality sort of scenario-like build and destroys with the Tatters as your civilization. Lots of cool cavalry archer trebuchet, oops, excuse me, and uh, light cavalry shenanigans. Let's go ahead and get started. Just as he borrowed from the traditions of Genghis Khan, Timur also dipped freely into the laws of Islam, adopting and retaining those aspects of the faith that he found useful while disregarding those which were inconvenient. Timur did not shave his head, nor did he wear a turban or the robes prescribed by the faith. Wine, strictly prohibited by Islam, flowed freely at his court. Feasts invariably ended in drunken orgies that owed more to the heathen traditions of the Mongols than the strictures of Islam. I certainly hope so. Kanzara Abdul Mali, ruler of Tirmid, had recently sworn allegiance to Timur, but the general hedonism that he witnessed at Tamerlane's court made it abundantly clear that there was nothing Islamic about Timur's rule. Shortly thereafter, in 1372, Abul Ma'ali Ma announced the approaching end of the world and proclaimed himself an appointed leader in the confirmation of the faith. He claimed that Timur and his followers were infidels and called for a jihad against them. Zinda Hasham, who had been waiting impatiently to take revenge on Timur, immediately followed Abul Ma'ali's call and joined his army. Together, Zinda Hasham and his new ally marched into the domain of Timur, who was completely taken by surprise. That's what you get for drinking and fucking! Ha 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 ha! Except our boy is gonna win. So, we'll see who gets the last laugh here. Thirteen seventy two AD, the city of Samarkand. Look there, another group of refugees seeking shelter in Samarkand. you, oh great Timur. We need your help. Zinda Hasham's mercenaries set fire to our village and stole our cattle. We will reclaim your settlements and punish those who have dared to harm you. Hurry, take command of my forces, Chaku. All right, our main objectives are to take command of the Imperial Army by bringing Cheku to the Timurid forces in Grey, waiting outside the walls of Samarkand. Our hints tell us that we're restricted to a population limit of 125. Uh, neither us or our adversaries will be able to construct war vessels. South of Samarkand are three villages that have been looted and burned by the enemy. Perhaps you can find survivors there, including villagers. It may not be possible to defend all of these settlements, as your opponents will soon invade again. Delete buildings you cannot protect before they can be converted by enemy monks. Your scouts report that initially Cheku in grey slash blue, commander of the Timurid army, is in Samarkand in purple to make the final preparations for the upcoming campaign against Kanzada Abdul Ma'ali and Zinda Hasham. There are some settlements in grey close to Samarkand that have recently been sacked by your adversaries. Rumor has it that some Muslim clerics who did not want to support the traitors sought refuge in the mountains to the east. 
To the south is the city of Tirmid, which is ruled by Kanzada Abdul Ma'ali in Sion. Abdul Ma'ali's army consists of knights and mounted archers. He will also send dozens of monks your way. Oh, gosh. Zinda Hasham's camp in red is located in the west of the map. For the most part, he will train cavalry archers, light cavalry, infantry, and capped rams. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. The more astute, if you might have noticed in the intro sequence, there's a weird bottom, a weird white rectangle in the bottom right corner of the screen from the previous clip. I don't know why that showed up, uh, but uh, <laughs> hopefully it won't show up again. And I will try to be more careful in the future to not let that happen. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Gotta take command of the Imperial Army outside. Godspeed. Godspeed indeed. Men, arm yourselves. Wow, that is some cool flavor. Oh, well, that is some cool flavor voice acting there. We must protect you. You join our team. Okay, we have some new objectives here. To kill Zinda Hasham, the Red King, which is going to be a queen because I still have that mod activated. End Abul Ma'ali's Jihad by converting his mosque in Timur and Sion. Uh, we must not destroy the mosque, and Cheku must survive. And our secondary objectives are to visit the secondary villages for survivors here. Okay, let's separate our cavalry and our ranged cavalry into two groups. Very good. Let's go to this eastern village here. Oh wow, it really has been devastated. Have you come to rescue us? Uh, let's rebuild a town center. And have one of these villagers start repairing. Meanwhile, we can think about liberating the next village. Let's pick up Bod Canero here. Repair some of this housing. And clear out these reds. Let's get a couple fishing ships out on the water as our main source of food for the time being. And get this villager to build a town center up here. Why can I not build a town center here? God alone knows. Okay, let's start rolling towards the third camp here. Has 
Get more fishing ships. We've got more villagers here too. We are safe. And we are done saving all the villages now. Great. Okay, awesome. Okay, I'd like to keep repairing up these villages that have been burned. We'll keep our units in the center here. Just to prepare. And we have limited time to get our economy bustling. I would like to get some more stone miners out here if possible. Okay, we are under some pressure already. Let's pick up the heavy plow. And start thinking about looking for some more gold. We don't have too much gold available here, actually. Charge! Cut them down and let them drown in their own blood. Charge! Okay, let's get ourselves a castle. Maybe like right up here. Abu Mali and Zinda Hassan want me to join their alliance. I would Salam. rather serve in your Salam. ranks, however, Salam. provided that you are willing to pay adequately. Yeah, I'm willing to pay adequately. How do I hire your horde, my guy? Selecting his market. This will cost me 600 gold. Yeah, I would like to hire him. You're weak, infidel. My forces will ultimately bring you to your knees. That is a cute speech. But ultimately, I don't really care about what you think. Build ourselves a TC here as we wait for reinforcements. Grab ourselves a university. Those villagers might be dead. We're kind of close to the 600 gold we require. Okay, 
Okay, I see our buildings over here are gonna get converted. Let's get rid of them. Just as the hints suggested. Pick up murder holes and click on the market. We will ride with you, Let's come back to the center here around this castle. Unfortunately, that's our TC going down. Let's build a couple of stables here. Okay, lovely. I remember now. Green is on our side. Okay, I'd love to send some trade this way. Oh, do they not have a market? Okay, I'd love to train some cavalry here, get some more villagers out, develop this eastern economy. Villagers continually turning out. Okay, I'd like to get a castle out up here, which will be our next priority. To camp. Unfortunately, flooding has severely damaged it. If you provide us with building materials, we could repair the bridge, however. Okay, very good. Looks 
Looks like we're getting tripped down again. Let's get some more light cavalry out. And destroy this tribe over here. Let's try to bait these guys back over to our castle. We should be safe so long as we do not give them control of a ram. Oh, this is going to be close. Nice. Check who's got to live. Great. We're out of fish here already, unfortunately. We've got a booming economy though. Let's build up a castle up here. Delete this final ship. Pick up iron casting and keep production of light cavalry coming out. The initial onslaught was the most difficult to survive, but now we should be in a much better shape. Let's pick up Gilnet. And start considering the next upgrade here. Get inside the castle. Good. This right side TC is finally under threat. You should be able to take good care of them though. Let's shift these light cavalry over here to save this town center. I know we're very low on wood choppers, and we just lost a shit ton of villagers here, unfortunate. We actually have very few wood choppers. These heavy cavalry archers pack a massive punch. Let's relocate lumber operations to the north. And we're actually out of wood. Hey, 
Okay, let's get some more light cavalry out. And try to think about getting to the Imperial Age. We actually have a decent amount of gold now, which is great. Let's grab silk armor for our light cav. That'll help them survive against the Cavalry Archer is much easier. Heard of some monks in the east. Yeah, let's check this out. two sacred artifacts we lost during our escape and we will join you gotta bring two relic carts over okay Salam. Hey. Hey. All right, things have stabilized significantly here. We have a gold pile here that we can take, a natural one. We need to remember that green is actually our ally. There's a relic card over here. Oh, hey, it's uh, Akba Naiman himself. All right. Thank you very much for the assistance, my good sir. Now we can head to the Imperial Age. Pick up leather archer armor as well. Let's cross this bridge and see what enemies we have dealing to deal with. Orleans raiders approach our farmland. Send forth all riders. Stay away from my lands, infidel. Stay away. <laughs> Gotta say, credit where credits due. That voice acting is quite good. Definitely hear the desperation. Okay, here's one relic cart. Let's send it back with a scout. We need to find a second relic cart somewhere. Maybe over here. That's the mosque. Okay, so what this does mean is that we will need to pick up redemption at some point, whether we like it or not. Let's 
Let's do Husser. Blast Furnace, Plate Barding. Let's actually do Chemistry. Grab Crop Rotation, Conscription. Start producing trebuchets. And start producing cavalry archers. Damn it, the faintest idea where the second cart could be. Three Parthian tactics, if I remember correctly. Let's grab ballistics now. Still largely doing good. We've got raids coming into the enemy. There's the second relic cart. Bring them over to the monks. There's actually a third relic card even over here. All right, so there's three relic cards instead of just two. We'll do some extra credit. And even a fourth relic card by the looks of it. Okay, I brought two relic carts over here. Do I need to leave your presence so you can have a moment alone? There you go. You have brought our holy relics to safety. We will faithfully stand by your side. And it gives us redemption. Ooh. So I don't need to build a monastery if I don't want to, which is a great touch. Uh, and let's go ahead and tribute 300 stone 
to the workers. Which player is that? Player four. Okay. Which player is player four? Oh no. Inhabitants. Well, here goes nothing. There we go. Thanks to your generous stone delivery, we will be able to complete the bridge. Get more. Let's pick up heavy cavalry archer now. the bridge. From now on, your soldiers may cross the river here. And we can start thinking about defeating Red. Right, let's pick Treadmill Crane and Siege Engineers. Start setting out Trebs to destroy this castle here. And our rating has proven to be quite fortuitous as well. Yeah, so these guys actually don't have a market. So we are somewhat limited in amount of gold. And the gold we have available. Let's pick up guilds, and once we get guilds, we can sell off our excess wood for free gold here. Also, like to take some time to pick up two more siege craft eventually. Uh, but. Zinda Hashama's base is already pretty much gutted. <laughs> we just converted a tower to death. Good. Zenda Hashtam fell victim to our blade. The toothpaste trader finally got what he deserved. Okay, let's roll out to the center once more. We need to remember that we don't want to destroy this mosque, we actually want to convert it.
Again, pretty easy mission. Quite fun though, uh, especially be in the early going where there's a lot of towns to manage and to save from raids. I like the balance. It does seem like green is quite strong though, yeah. Even now green is continuing to stage attacks with battering rams, which is quite nice. Nice try converting my trebuchet. That's not gonna work. Let's do two more siege craft now. Get you villagers over here onto this gold pile. Well, we actually haven't picked up all of our military techs yet, so our guys are going in under prep, so to speak. Here's the castle that we want to knock down. Tamerlane's armies have destroyed our fortress. Where will we find refuge now? Let's start converting the mosque. We need to make sure that we don't destroy it. I set my monks in a bit too early.
And as we take out these production buildings, we'll be in better and better shape. Gotta say, the voice acting, especially for a passion project, is very good. I especially like the teal antagonist here. He definitely has a sort of righteous indignation about him that I would kind of expect out of someone who is seeing hedonism go on and not approve of it. After repelling the enemy marauders from his land, Timur dispatched Cheku to pursue the two emirs who had dared to conspire against him once more. Cheku defeated the defectors in a triumphant campaign and succeeded in arresting both Zinda Hasham and Abu Ma Ali. The prisoners were dragged to Samarkand immediately. Timur, who was still reluctant to treat important tribal leaders harshly, decided not to execute Abu Ma Ali, but to exile the self-proclaimed jihadist instead. He's going to come back next episode. Zinda Hasham, however, who had repeatedly deceived Timur, was not released. He died miserably in a prison cell without having seen the daylight ever again. Alright, nice map. It's a great touch to have multiple relic carts uh, to get redemption and some monks. This saved us from having to spend a lot of gold re researching redemption ourselves and creating our own monks, which is a really nice touch. Uh, just the right amount of gold scattered throughout the map. It encourages use of light cavalry again, because there's not too much gold, but there's enough gold such that if you push adequately, then you'll be just fine. Not much to say here beyond the fact that this is a standard juicy build and destroy mission featuring the tatters. Good stuff. Anyway, my name is Mythic Clever Fool. Next time we'll play the final episode, The Horde Rides North. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.